talk about zooming look at how many people i have on my screen why am i an influencer i'm, I'm really a bad influencer <laughs> how many people are going to squeeze on that screen so that they can zoom the world everybody wants to be on the camera you know they all want to have their own show it's the it's the show of shows it's people being themselves being on camera and now the latest thing is don't touch your face <laughs> uh, don't touch your face book is more like it but I was looking for God and I see this morning on television that there's a Muslim sect out of North Carolina I think it is that believes that that they should take down all of the uh, all the artwork that shows God to be white because God is a supreme being and the supreme being is white so therefore we need to get rid of him well I went searching for God and I went to the God guide I googled God in the church I got a program that says the king is coming but that was about King Kong I got the wrong that was the wrong program God is not a monkey <laughs> Oh, uh, here, God is a junkie. How about this one? See, uh, God is whoever you want him to be, or her, or them. Uh, you know, however, whatever your belief system is. God is a pilot on a boat here. God is also uh, a comic. He's a stand-up comic. Look at That's a comedian. This is great. This is the work of uh, Stephen Sawyer, who's Diane Sawyer's uh, cousin. He lives in somewhere in Lexington, Kentucky. He's great, Stephen Sawyer. But you know, God is, uh, is, is not black or white. That's the whole, what, what are they having this thing for now? Are we really out of material? The answer is yes. <laughs> We're putting everything in the world on television because everything in the world belongs on television, but not all at the same time. Here's what's wrong. Let me tell you the wrong part. The wrong part is we don't have any boundaries. We have, we have borders but no boundaries. We don't know when we are stepping on another person. We don't know how to behave, how to say thank you. We don't have good cell phone usage. We don't have good control of ourselves and our tongues and our opinions and our kids. So uh, we're, we are boundaryless. So I'm an influencer, but I can only influence so much. You know, I wake up in the morning and my uh, ex-wife sends me to my room if I make any political comments. And so I've stayed in my room pretty much and I turn the TV on in the morning and watch it myself and, and I, when I watch the news I get so frustrated that I begin to bang my head on the top bunk bed until I fall asleep again <laughs> that's that's my life how's yours <laughs> you got a bunk bed do you <laughs> you're doing well and they're saying now they're complaining that rich people aren't spending enough money but the poor people are I give up. I mean, come on. Who does all this research? Uh, who's, who's figuring all this out? <laughs> There's somebody that sits in a room in the basement of the White House and has some sort of a, a, a control of everything in the world, you know. What, what I don't know is how we are... We're, see, we're catering to the disease. What we're doing with this uh, a pandemic is we are starting to work around it. It's like, it's like a dysfunctional family where the father comes home drunk so you learn to work around him. So we're, instead of solving the problem, which is, well, what the hell is this disease? And where did it come from? And how are we gonna bitch slap these people for inventing it? That's what we need to do. Maybe the White House knows that. Maybe they don't wanna say anything. Maybe they don't wanna let us in because we're gonna get mad and we're gonna go after North Korea and China, which is the, those are the two suspects. And then Russia's not far behind. Uh, you know, the, the whole world got, uh, got, got in on this one. This is a worldwide collision, collusion. Uh, somebody's in on this thing and they don't want to talk to us about it, but that would solve the problem. One of them, you know, at least we would know uh, what drug we are going to use to combat the one they've created, which has a lot of different formulas, I'm sure. Uh, this thing here is roaming the streets. It's looking for victims all day long. And I think somewhere along the line, we're going to have to come to the term that uh, you can't go out. You can't leave the house at all until this thing goes away. It's, it's like those movies they used to make, those science fiction films, you know, The Last Day on Earth, and where everybody, nobody's left but me. <laughs> I'm the only guy left on the whole planet. 
after everybody has been uh, terrified by interplanetary aliens who have come here and decided to finally end the game and, and put us in our place. I wonder if the aliens are black or white. And I, I think also the deal is that God gave us the freedom of choice. If you believe in God, God gave us the free will. God gave us a lot of things. God did not give us this uh, virus, I don't believe. This came from a couple of guys who were screwing around uh, trying to control the world, like the Wizard of Oz with the controls behind the curtain. I mean, there's something something very, very movie-like about all of this. And the other thing to be said is not only are we out of control, but we are absolutely not practicing Mohammed Gandhi. We're not practicing Martin Luther King, John Kennedy what you can do for your country, not what you can do for yourself. Uh, Gandhi, who is a peaceful coexistence, and Martin Luther King, separation, no. Segregation, no. Uh, we need to separate, no. We don't need to separate. We need to all work together and get together and, and be in the same room and, and tolerate each other and realize that uh, skin color is the issue, but really underneath it all is money. Education and poverty, you know all that. I mean, you know all this already. And so you're going to say, okay, let's push the envelope. We'll get to the point where we make everybody so crazy that they're going to finally give us the freedom that we richly deserve. Yeah, you'll have freedom. If you are in the black community, there should not be a black community. It should not be an African thing. This is a lightning rod for me to say all this because everybody gets mad at this, see? But if you don't have an African tie-in, then you have an American tie-in. And if you don't have an African American, you've got an American. And we're dealing with an American. And if you're not dealing with a black community, and you're not dealing with a white community, you're dealing with a community. You got it? So what we need is common unity and put us all together and sit in the same room. And by pushing this thing to where everybody gets mad is not gonna solve it because what it brings is guilt and after guilt comes shame. And shame is almost like removing a spot off a rug when you have spilled coffee or paint. It's gonna be very difficult to get rid of that stain. So as your friend and your friendly neighborhood truthful uh, media supporter, which I am, I, I, I believe that the media creates a lot of crap just to fill time, but that's beside the point. As your media advisor and your confidant and the guy who is the influencer and has the most hits, the most people, the number one, the top of the line, the biggest, uh, these are all the things that America wants. The largest audience, <laughs> the most money, the, mo the, the, the biggest power. Uh, you know, I have none of that. <laughs> I'm just a schmuck sitting in, uh, in Florida right now waiting for this damn thing to go away if we could ever figure out what it is that we want to get rid of. Nobody knows how to get rid of the monster because they don't know what it is. <laughs> This is a, a, a riddle of where, where are all these great detectives and where are the comic book heroes? You know, all, all we know is what I've said earlier that, uh, listen, you know, you know what the comic book stuff is, right? I mean, it's all made up. Spider-Man is not gonna, gonna look for kryptonite and, and, and uh, Spider-Man is not running around with Wonder Woman. They're not having wild sex. This is not happening. But what is happening is Ken has left Barbie for G.I. Joe and they're living together in Chelsea, in New York, and uh, moving to San Francisco. They, they are uh, together with that LGBT thing, uh, uh, BLT, or whatever it is. It's a uh, Google God. You'll be very interested in the answer. <laughs> it's a Reynolds rap. 